Top of the morning, everyone. It is day three of the hunt season, so just give you a little update. I haven't really heard much back from Blake. Uh, I have pretty crappy service inside this trailer, so first thing in the a.m., I set my phone outside for a little bit and tried to get some better signal. A couple texts came through. It sounds like he may have bumped him after waiting. God, I think he waited at least an hour and a half, maybe even two hours last night. Because he never did hear a, a death moan, so. But yeah, the uh, latest text I got from him is that he bumped him. And that he was seeing very little sign. So, uh, hopefully I can get some more texts to come through. Well, I heard back from Blake. It sounds like those are the most recent updated texts. So, sounds like late last night he went on a search for it. Uh, bumped him. He went back to his stand. And waited, tried to just wait it out and listen to him. And then he went back out and, and tried looking for blood, but found very little blood so far, which at nighttime it's tough. It's tough even in the daytime, so at nighttime especially. So he is going to wait it out until first light and then go back in. So I am going to go for a morning spot and hunt and wait to hear back from him. Uh, if I don't hear good news within the first hour, then... I'll just head up there and, and meet up with him and try to give him a hand tracking and locating. But I got my little morning workout in. Got 100 push-ups. Uh, so my buddy Andy Frizzella, he he hosts a bunch of podcasts on motivational and ins inspirational type stuff. But anyways, he, he tells me that uh, every now and again, I'll, I'll keep this PG for the kids, but Every now and again, that, that guy in your head that that tells you that you don't need to do something or you can do it later, he calls that your B voice. Well, it was in my head big time this morning. I'm optimistically thinking that I'll be packing out an elk, so I shouldn't do my, my air squats. I'll push those to the side, and I'll get plenty of a, of a good workout in this morning packing out an elk, but... And he came in the in my head too and told me, no, push that B voice to the side and get after it. So I got those in. Got 200 air squats in. And then I did 50 elevated uh, sit-ups and then 50 bicycle sit-ups, full sit-ups. So good little morning burn. Woke me up. Now I'm ready to roll. So we'll go for a little jaunt to do some spotting and then optimistically hoping that we're uh, loading a bunch of elk meat out this morning, so stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. Made it to the top of the knob this morning. I got some trail camera pictures first thing uh, this morning while it was still dark, obviously. I'm going to play this scenario a little bit different than what I did yesterday, so I am going to observe what they do today because last time I tried to go in that area stay high elevated and do some spotting see where they end up going and then hopefully I can get them bedded which is unlikely because they always seem to always bed in these pine trees but anyways see what happens and get a better idea of which direction they go so wish me luck Well, I located two of the satellite bowls that hit my trail camera this morning, but not Mr. Grande. Thing, it's a needle in a haystack. I guess that's why they get so big, right? But all I can do is gas again, so I'm gonna go sit water first thing this morning. Blake's still trying to follow a sign. He's not seeing a whole lot of blood, so yeah, I know he's pretty bummed out. He's pretty nervous that it's going to get away, but got to keep faith. Just got to be diligent on following every track, every drop of blood. And he's a he's a good archer. I, I'm confident that he made a good shot. Just had to put in the work to find him. So anyways, I'll go sit this blind until, until I hear back from him. If he needs help tracking, I'll head that way. Or even better, hopefully he just finds him. And I'll go help him pull some meat out of the mountains. So, okay, keep you updated.
Hey guys, once again I sat that same blind for the last, oh gal, since about 8 o'clock this morning and it's now 3 o'clock, so about 6-7 hours. <laughs> Man, I am just not patient enough to, to sit one all day, I've got to at least stretch my legs a little bit, but once again didn't have anything come in to this water. Which is crazy to me, because it seems like it's a great place. If I was an elk, that's where I'd go. <laughs> that's why I wouldn't survive very long as an elk, probably. But anyways, uh, just to give you an update on where Blake's at. He still has not turned anything up, unfortunately. It's not, it's not looking good, which sucks. I know he's super bummed about it. There's nothing worse uh, coming from a being a sportsman than, than wounding an animal. It's the worst feeling you'll ever experience as a sportsman. You want it to be quick and lethal. Uh, and it just, it sucks. I can, I can relate. I've been very fortunate and have been able to recover majority of all of the animals that, that I've shot, but there has been one that I, that I wounded. And I'm just thankful that I, got trail camera pictures of it afterwards so I knew that it survived 100% but there are a lot of people that don't get that opportunity it's always in the back of their mind they don't know if it wandered off and it died somewhere and weren't able to find it uh, which is just a horrible feeling I, I can only imagine so he's pretty bummed obviously but he's he's still up there trying he found his arrow uh, broken off the fletching side of it. I think he said he, he found about 10 inches of his arrow left. And I think he said his, his arrow is about 27 inches or so. So 16, 17 inches of penetration, which if it's in the right location is more than enough. But it just doesn't sound like he's he uh, hit vitals like he was hoping. So, but he's not giving up. He's he's still after it. He's trying to turn something up, doing a bunch of gridding. So, there's still a chance, but it's it's taking a toll on him, mentally and and physically. He's been at it all day. So, bummer. But, okay, guys, I'm going to hike out of here, and once again, I'm going to end up heading to this other water hole that I sat yesterday evening. So, had a doe and a fawn come in. Hopefully tonight it's a big grande bowl. So, okay, wish me luck. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hell made it back to camp. That was a long day of sitting blinds, mostly. Most action we had all day was first thing this morning. Uh, like I, I mentioned, got those trail camera pictures. Booked it over to a different knob to, to try to spot that area. Found the two satellite bowls, but never did find Mr. Grande. So, But I did get in front of those two satellite bowls, hoping that they were heading the same direction that that grande went earlier and that wasn't the case but i got within 125 yards of those of those satellite bulls i feel pretty confident i probably could have cow called them in but i it's just too early in the season and who knows probably would have blew it <laughs> blew it anyways who am i kidding but but could have had some fun with them but i i didn't mess with them i don't want to get them too spooked or too riled up i really want to make a move on this bigger bull that's moved in so other than that um this evening had that skunk trying to climb in the, in the blind with me that was a little entertaining but besides that that's that's pretty much our action on this third day which i'm not complaining because i've had several days in previous seasons where I don't see a dang thing so it's it's been a good start i think it's just a matter of time we'll keep working at it but Poor Blake, he worked his tail off all day today trying to find that bowl. Never did turn it up. So he's going to do some more gridding and, and searching for more blood tomorrow. But it sounds like there's about a 350-foot stretch 
where he's able to find blood and then after that there's not a drop of it so mostly just following trying to follow trails and, and grid so okay we will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning and we will do it all over again hope you guys are enjoying the season as much as i am okay see you tomorrow